I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be shooting a get ready with me. Um, I just woke up, so I'm looking not the best, but I'm not looking too bad. So first thing that I like to do, because I'm so paranoid of like touching my face, today's soap of choice is this body tea tree. I'm actually staying in a hotel right now in Japan. And for me and hotels, I, I really do not like using their bar soaps only because it makes my hands really dry. So I like to, I like to bring my own hand wash with me um, for cases like this. I'm gonna change into my bathrobe, so be right back. All right, I'm back. Looking very snazzy and bougie. I literally always wash my hands all the time to the point where they become like extremely dry. So now that the phalanges are dry, I'm going to put my hair back because I do not like getting water in my hair, even though I should probably, ow, ow, ow. although I should probably shampoo my hair because it is very oily. Is this like really weird, but I personally like to use makeup removers, although I don't wear makeup. I don't know, like I feel like it removes like a layer of dirt um, before you like, like go in with your cleanser, whatever. I don't know. And I don't really like go too like swipey on it. I almost just like, knocked over the camera. I'm just like basically patting it over my skin um, and just loosening up the dirt. I mean, I guess this is like a step of um, double cleansing, right? I still use this um, Lytic gel cleanser from Epionce. My friend, Danielle, um, she actually does my facials um, and got me hooked on this. She owns her own uh, medical uh, spa. I, I, I think that's how, how you would classify it where she would do facials and all that uh, in Orange County. So definitely hit her up and find her at Skin Goals Orange County. And um, maybe say that you found her through my videos and maybe she'll give you a discount, 15% off. Use my discount code. Just kidding, don't. She might need the money. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't hate me. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna put some warm water on my face to open up the pores on my skin. How's everyone been doing um, so far in life? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. So much has happened to me since I made my last video. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll get into it later on, but I'm hanging in there. I feel like we, I think we all are, uh, but I do hope that you guys are doing really well. Um, I think we all deserve happiness and joy and yada yada yada. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with my Foreo. I already like d like rubbed in all the cleanser on my face, um, but now I'm just gonna pretty much use this device to, uh, I guess, go in aggressively with the cleanser. And it's super fancy and makes me feel really nice in the morning. And I feel like it really gets deep down in the pores and I really love starting my day with a really, really clean face. And I will use this also um, during the nighttime, but I really just like having a fresh face to start my day. It's pretty much like vibrating the um, cleanser everywhere and you can sort of see like it's foaming so it's just doing like a deeper a deeper cleanse on my skin as soon as uh, the pandemic happened I really did gain a lot of weight uh, which I like I had I had I hid, <laughs> um, that I hid for quite a while. I think I like gained um, 
20, 25 pounds, um, which is actually pretty crazy. Um, so if you like look back on my Instagram feed, there's a good amount of time where I didn't post anything and that was because I was feeling very insecure and very, just very unhealthy and I didn't want, I just didn't feel very comfortable in my body at that time. Um, and then at the same time, I was really just going through a lot of uh, personal problems as well. So I feel like I needed that social media break, um, as cliche as that sounds, but I really did need that, you know, little break as I feel like everyone, everyone does. Um, just to take that pressure off yourself and to really just focus on, um, really just focus on yourself and your friends and your family and all the things that you love to do. So I did take that break, um, focus on myself, focus on my fitness um, and my diet and all that. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy that I did. And, and I'm also sort of happy that the pandemic um, happened as, that, as really sad as that sounds, but it, had, it made me realize, you know, like what made me really happy in life. And, that you know stuff like this can happen and we all have to adjust somehow okay now that my face um is wet i'm going to use this shave gel with aloe from harry's i honestly just like, got this from target i don't even know if it's that good but it hasn't been effing up my face so i like it so far i always think of simpsons of the simpsons and homer simpson and I think there was an episode where he was shaving and he left the house with a bunch of, um, what do you call it, like, little tissue patches because he kept, um, like, nibbing at his skin, if that's the word for it, when he was shaving. So I'm gonna go extra slow when I'm shaving in front of you guys because I do not want to get judged and uh, I don't want to get nibbed and have a bunch of blood around my face you guys look how crazy i look i look like santa where are my hoes i have no hoes i am the hoe <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and do a close shave which means i'm gonna go from down up this is just something i googled because whenever i try to go from like i don't know i'm gonna go up down up up down down up. I'm, I'm starting from the bottom up instead of from the top down. Okay. Anyways, long story. When I go this way, it's not a close shave. So there's still like stubble and some shadow. I'm going for like a baby face look. So I need uh, like as much of a close shave as possible. And on Google, someone said that you need to go down up for a close shave. So that's what I've been doing. So don't judge me, all right? Don't judge me. Although, there, I look crazy. Like, I have shaving cream on my lips. Um, we're ignoring that. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. Uh, ow! Ow! I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding! All right, woo! Shaving part done. And only stabbed myself five million times, but I'm gonna be showing you guys that part because that is really embarrassing. <laughs> See, don't I look already like fresh? Shaving, y'all. Magic of shaving. Okay, I'm gonna be adding um, this Clinique for Men Post Shave Soother. And this is a great aftershave. And I kind of just like slather it all over the areas that I um, shaved. And the purpose of aftershave, for those who don't know, is it reduces like bumps and redness. Apparently, that's what it says. Um, I can't vouch for it though, because I'm fucking red right now. What is going on? I'm joking. Look how freaking Young I look now. I've also seen this in a video. Don't remember, I think this was a cartoon. I think this might be a cartoon, but they like slap it. Am I going crazy that this is not a thing that men do? AKA me. 
this serum, I swear to God, it's a great bang for your buck because I don't like using too much product anymore. Oh my gosh, do you see that? What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So I also use this Retinol Repair Serum. This is actually a night serum, but I don't plan on going out today because I am working from home today um, or from my room. So might as well take advantage of the opportunity and use like top, uh, products like this. But this is a Retinol Serum. And again, I'm sure you can buy Retinols over the counter like at, um, Sephora and Ulta. This one specifically is from uh, a medical spa that I get um, my laser treatments done, um, my skin laser treatments. Retinol is obviously really good um, for like anti-aging and a lot of different things, right? All right, guys, we are almost done. Moisturizer, moisturizer, same brand as the serum. Um, Anveron, this is the Skin Essentia. This is a um, Vita Antioxidant AVSC Moisturizer 5. So I believe for this line, it goes like one, two, three, four, five, and you have to like work your way up. I'm already at level five, so the ingredients are very potent. So I wouldn't recommend just jumping to five right away. Um, but this moisturizer is also, a lot of the products that I use, there's a rhyme and reason for it. I don't like, I don't just use a moisturizer just to moisturize my face. Like there has to be some active um, ingredient in there that's, that's doing something long-term or even short-term. So I love that about this moisturizer and about, um, this line specifically is that all their products have very potent um, ingredients. So, moisturizer on and everything, but before I put on my um, sunscreen, because you always want to put on sunscreen before you leave the house or leave the bathroom in my case, um, I'm gonna go and do my hair with you guys. I think it'll be fun. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I'm just gonna be doing it for you guys. You guys have no choice but to watch me do my hair. What's the damage here? It's the only thing I don't like about these head wraps is how tight they are and they will fudge up my hair. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so basic hair care routine. Um, it really doesn't take me that long to do my hair. All I do is put some heat protectant, some split end stuff, and then some stuff on my roots. Um, shoot, that does sound a lot. Okay, anyways, I start off <laughs> with this Oribe Bright Blonde Essential Priming Serum. And this is like what you would use prior to using heat styling um, tools for blonde hair. And as we all know, I am blonde now. I have been blonde for almost a year. And this was not a phase. I don't do phases. I don't do phases. The only reason why I didn't have blonde hair until now is because, first of all, I feel like if you don't have the money to maintain blonde hair, then don't get blonde hair. You know, blonde hair is really expensive. Maintenance on it is really expensive. I have to get this redone like two or every three months. And so that's like, what, like $500 out the door every two or three months. So if you can't do that, then don't get blonde hair because it looks foolish that it's like, you only had it for like, what, a month, three weeks. Sounds a little reaching for me. <laughs> I'm obviously joking you guys, but um, seriously, blonde hair is no joke. It's really expensive. And uh, I didn't want to be blonde until I had, uh, until I made enough money myself to um, keep up with it because I really didn't want it to be like a, you know, a three week thing. Like I've always just wanted blonde to be my natural hair color. What is, do you see, do you, 
I can feel a little purple. That is, that is the, that's the product. Okay, we're gonna um, blow dry my hair. That is, that is the deal. That's gonna happen. Um, I use this very fancy schmancy Dyson hair dryer thingamajig. It's not looking too bad. Like, like I said, I do need a shampoo. So um, I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of waves and cleaning it out and and la di da di da and all that. So I'm gonna go in with uh, like mid key because I don't like that. If I'm on crunch time, I will put it to like the max heat, but that's obviously much more damaging for your hair. Um, so I will just go medium heat. And what's really cool about this is that it wraps and it does that action. Um, I, said, I did that on the wrong side of my head, so that was in my bad. I like my curls to go outward. So like for the beginning, it's gonna start looking very, why do I keep saying Vera? It's gonna look very Vera Fawcett-y, um, where it's gonna do like this outward effect. Um, but once I blow dry it down, oh, I'm already blow drying it down. Once I comb it out, it's just gonna look like mini waves, um, really natural. And that's the look that I'm going for. Now I'm gonna add some hair oil. This one um, was given to me by my hairstylist. He's Korean. I get my hair done at a Korean hair salon. I would absolutely recommend getting your hair done at a Korean hair salon. They do the best um, hair coloring treatments, haircuts, especially for Asian hair. Would absolutely recommend. So he gave me this. This is a um, iron balancing technology IBT. Um, hair oil, and uh, this is honestly the best hair oil, I shit you not, that I've ever used. And then on the tips, I'm going to be using the Redken Aesthetic Perfecting Concentrate Leave-In Treatment. Um, I heard about this from one of the girls at, at Sephora, and she had really beautiful blue hair and I complimented her on it because it really was beautiful and she said that she was actually going through an acid treatment from Redken and she recommended that I would try it out so that's what I've been doing and honestly it's been like really really working wonders tell me that my hands do not look a little bit purple so weird last part of my skincare routine Murad oil and Pogon wow tongue twister Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is what every oily person needs in their life. A moisturizer that is mattifying and also has like 45 SPF. Like what? Where has this been all my life? Anyways, because of all that moisturizer and serums that I used before, um, to me, I look very oily still, um, or like I look like I went for a workout, whatever. But this just gives this healthy glow um, without, you know, not, it doesn't dry my skin or whatever, but it just makes it look like all the products and all the moisturizers just melted into my skin. And it doesn't look oily at all. Okay, so that's pretty much my skincare, hair care, hair care routine. I'm gonna go get changed real quick, be right back. Okay, all changed. Just, you know, a regular black outfit. The shirt is from Skims and honestly, it is like second skin. Feels absolutely amazing. Just a little hoodie from Chrome Hearts, nothing big. Um, a regular Tuesday work day. I always love to give myself a little spray and I love this Tom Ford tobacco vanilla perfume and I don't know I just love the smell it's like tobacco and patchouli and it's just 
smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. I love this Tom Ford um, brow definer gel and it just really gives my eyebrows like this really great definition. I really have like naturally very thick, fat um, eyebrows. I, have, I just like have a lot of hair, oops. Um, I got my eyebrows waxed or um, microbladed once and that, that is just, <laughs> no, it is not for me. Um, I'd rather just have my eyebrows look very natural like this. I feel like it is very, for me, um, it, it just fits my face so much better. I mean, I, I really am not harping on other people who want drag queen eyebrows. I think if you can rock it, you can rock it. That I, I just, I can't rock those eyebrows. Um, I like my eyebrows to look a little bit um, very natural. And yeah, I mean, I, I was really blessed with, with really great thick eyebrows. So I feel like I really don't need to do much with it. Anyways, so clean it up, right? All right, you guys. So that was my basic um, get ready with me routine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a comment, a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Peterson Sam. Um, hopefully more videos to come. Uh, so I haven't been shooting a lot of videos only because I don't have my laptop anymore and I only have my iPad so it's hard for me to shoot um, videos like high quality uh, format videos and then edit on my iPad so I am getting the new um, Apple laptop this coming November so do prepare yourself for more videos um, but until then I will see you guys soon I'm gonna go get coffee before I go to work um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it all right, peace in the streets, y'all. Don't leave the house without your mask, okay, bitch? Let's go.